you're thinking about starting a home care agency or a home help agency, now before we even make that decision to start a company, we want to be able to talk about a few things, right? So let's talk about the different types of agencies that exist that provides services or home care services to patients at the comfort of their very home. And this is one of the first questions we need to be able to ask ourselves when we're making this type of decision. Now I say this because many times when I talk to people uh, and they ask me for our services, for us to help them start their agency, even they are unfortunately not even clear on what type of agency they actually want to open. Because some of them are pretty much new in this industry and they really have not, you know, look into which one they really want to have you know they just find out that you know this is a lucrative business that this is something that maybe they want to get into they want to be able to invest their money but unfortunately is they don't really know the whole scope of the different agencies that are able to provide care to the patient's homes right so what are the type of agencies or organizations that provide home care services the first one is home health agencies so home health agencies are what we call skilled nursing agencies this is where they send skilled nurses physical therapists occupational therapists and uh, social workers to the patient's home they typically bill medicare medicaid as well as other private insurances so this is one of the highest versions of home health services that is you know offered to the patients the second one is what we call private duty or home care right non-medical home care or private duty services with these type of services they typically provide caregivers and homemakers to the patient's homes most of the time the payments happen from out of the pocket of these patients or their family members now there are some insurances private insurances that would pay for these type of services as well as medicare advantage but you're not able to bill medicare directly because medicare does not pay for private duty or for non-medical home care services at this very moment so you would have to majority of the time 80 percent or even more of your patients are paying out of their pockets and like i said you provide homemakers or caregiver services typically providing light housekeeping medication reminders just basic assistance of daily living for these type of clients and patients now the next one is hiring or pretty much creating a staffing agency or a registry so there are a lot of companies out there that provides these type of services they find the home caregivers they find the homemakers they find the nurses and what they do is they provide staffing to existing agencies already now if you do have let's say for example a non-medical home care company or even a home health agency i've seen it also where these type of companies will also add an additional form of income or an additional flow of you know money to their companies by providing these type of staffing services to other agencies because most of the time is a lot of these agencies have additional staff members that works for them but they don't have the patient or the client to provide the services to but that does not mean that since they already have them in their books, they then offer these services to other agencies. The next other service that provides home care or home health services to the patient's homes is hospice agencies. These are pretty much palliative care and a life services. Um, a lot of these type of companies will sometimes even outsource their caregivers and would hire from the non-medical home care or the staffing agencies. Uh, the next one is more of an individual thing. This is what we call an independent contractor or a self-employed. So we also see this a lot where a lot of non-medical, you know, home care services, you know, they get paid directly by the patient and they provide a one-on-one -on -one care. Now, I really don't suggest by offering this, let's say, for example, you have your own home care company and you just want to do independent contractors, you want to contract yourself to a patient. You know, these are this is seen a lot in this industry. Um, but unfortunately, just remember this, you know, you may not have your own insurance at the very same time as just imagine this. If you lose a patient, what happens to you right there? And then you're handling pretty much just one patient. So you lose that patient, then you lose your income. So I really don't suggest somebody getting into a more independent contractor or, or self-employed, you know, home caregiver, because, you know, if you're going to look at this as your business model, 
uh, then you know you are more in a losing category. Um, not to say that it's a wrong thing to do. If this is something that you want to do, that's perfectly fine by me. Um, you know, I'm just giving you some suggestions. So let's just go over the different types of agencies. Home health are pretty much skilled nursing or skilled medical services. You build Medicare. You, um, you can build insurances, you build Medicaid as well. You provide skilled nursing, physical therapy, occupational therapy, social worker, home health aid. Then you have your non-medical again, your private duty. This is pretty much out-of-pocket paying or some insurances will pay for it or even Medicaid. Um, for these type of patients, you just provide homemakers and caregiver services, providing, you know, assisting with um, ADLs, your activity of daily livings. Um, then you have your staffing agency. Fourth is your hospice, and the final one is the self-employed or independent contractor. So before you actually start your journey and starting your own business as a home care company or as a home health agency, you must decide on which one of these items is best for you on what you want to apply for. Now, just to let you guys know, for the higher end, the home health agencies, um, you know, it, the process of getting the application is, is pretty much long. You're typically seeing about an, a year and a half to two years for approval because you got to get approved by your state as well as Medicare as well. Um, and so that can be problematic and also you're going to need a higher amount of funds to be able to start this type of company, right? For the non-medical, you know, you're seeing on the low end, we've seen agencies spend $3,000. We've seen agencies pay, you know, up to $50,000, $60,000 if they're franchising a company. It just depends on you. And we're going to cover a lot more videos about this type of, you know, information uh, in more detail. Uh, so pretty much you just have to make a decision which one works for you, which one works for your company that you're choosing to put together. If you have any questions, always reach out to us here at you know Home Health Success Academy. Just give us a call, 630-340-8990, or visit us at homehealthsuccessacademy.com or 10xpatientreferrals.com. Hey everyone, we want to be able to invite you to our 10xpatientreferrals.com where we have our online Home Health Marketing Academy that's going to be able to help either a home health, home care, or hospice agency increase referrals, increase their senses, and create a profitable company. Now, at this very moment, you're going to have access to these information through these training, marketing to physicians, how to get to hospitals, how to be able to get into nursing homes, and much, much more at a month-to-month -month basis with no contracts needed. It's just month-to-month. -month. Now, guess what? We are offering you guys for a limited time 50% off any one of our plans. Just choose which one is going to be able to work better for you. So just stop by the 10xpatientreferrals.com at any given moment. So these are the plans that are available, whether it's the gold, the silver, or the platinum plan. Most people go for the gold plan, but it's up to you what's going to work for you. We definitely want to be able to have you in. come in and work with us. So here's two choices. Go to 10xpatientreferrals.com or click the link down below. Take advantage of this right now at this very moment and sign up with us. Now, before we continue on to the video, just need to be able to take a few seconds of your time. And so we want to be able to ask you a question. Are you looking to gain more referrals for your agency, your home health, your home care, your hospice agency? We want you to be able to join us at our online marketing boot camp that has over seven and a half hours of training. When you actually watch our boot camp and join our online marketing boot camp training, so sign up for a limited time at 10xpatientreferrals.com. We would like to thank our sponsors of this video. And over here at 10xpatientreferrals.com, our goal is to provide you guys amazing information on every single one of our videos. So medicationreminderprogram.com provides daily medication reminders for your patients. They call your patients twice a day to remind them to take their medications. What happens is a top reason of hospitalization for senior citizens is not taking their medications. So this program allows you to be able to keep your patients and not lose any revenue, but at the very same time, it allows you to stand out when you are marketing to other referral sources because you're providing more services, more programs than the competition around you guys. The next thing we want to be able to share with you guys is they have three different packages available for you at this very moment. Choose which one works for you. If you're an agency that's just starting up and you have less than 10 patients, you can go with the silver plan. Or if you have 50 patients, you can go with the gold plan. Or if you have up to 100 patients, it is only 
the choice to use the platinum plan. But guess what? It's up to you which one works for you guys. For a cost of as a little as 33 cents per patient a day, it is worth everything for you guys. The next thing is HomeCareAnsweringService.com. It's an answering services for your agency. So if you want to be able to have us handle all the calls for you in the weekends or the off hours when your business office is closed, we can definitely do that. Or we can even answer your calls for you during the day as well. Allows you to be able to do everything for your company. So HomeCareAnsweringService.com is your solution for answering your calls on a timely matter.